So what we're going to go through here today is uh, how to calibrate your row sense feelers, and, which is probably a good thing to do about every year. Um, for those of you that don't know how to do it, we'll kind of go through on a step-by-step -step thing as far as what buttons to push here on your 2630. So you're going to start with going to the menu button, which is down here in the lower right-hand corner with the arrow with all the little dots. If you hit it and you go to the Green Star GS3. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Diagnostics, which is the little wrench and book. And from there, you've got a drop down menu here that should, it could say a lot of things here in the center. But you just hit it, and you're going to come down. You may have to scroll down to find it, but there should be one that says Row Sense. If you click on it, it's going to bring this page up. It's telling you that row sensors are available, that you just have an AutoTrack SF1 license. The things we're worried about here are the left and right sensor voltages. You see where this one is on 4 and 1.2. To start with, as long as it's got a voltage is what we're really looking for. So that means that it's actually talking to the sensors. If it is not, that number will be zero, and in which case you need to look at either the left or right sensor to try to figure out what's uh, going on, whether it be a loose wire or a bad potentiometer, whichever you need to diagnose that first before it'll calibrate. From there, you just want the sensors in just kind of their static state, not doing anything with them. And what you do is hit this cow button. It should come up with a successful. If it doesn't, there will be something wrong with it that needs to be diagnosed. Um, and it may change these numbers, so don't necessarily take those for too much. And once that is successful, that should be a complete calibration. From there, you should be able to go on to whatever you want to do. Thank you.